don't think this is a good idea, Tamara. Confronting Brian's ex at her place of work? Well, of course it's a bad idea for Mindy and Tamara, but we're not. We're Isabella and Barb. Am I Barb? I know that I'm Barb. Oh my God, Tamara, this woman is a big time venture capitalist. Look at this place. If security comes, I'm gonna run. I'm not getting tased again. That cannot be good for me long term. Okay, people, we need a safety meeting. What we have is a classic contact fire. This garment rat came in contact with this hot pipe. So in layman's terms, what oh, oh my God. God. Oh God, oh God my beautiful glove. Oh, oh. I was saving that dress for the funeral of an enemy. That's who did this, Kelly Ripa. No, Kelly Ripa did it. Hey guys, how do I tell a man that I am dating that I have a kid? How many children does he have? None. Well, then it doesn't matter how you tell him because it's over. What? Well, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Kurt Russell got with Goldie Hawn when she had two kids. Well, with all due respect, Mindy is no Goldie Hawn in Overboard. How dare you? I have fallen off of several ships. But here's the here's the, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. um, the driving force in my life is selflessness. Selfishness? Selflessness. And I just don't get the sense that it's yours. So you don't? Think I'm a good person? No, no, no. Look, it was one day, just you didn't seem too interested in the mission we're working on in Haiti. You only lit up when I talked about meeting my class. No, uh, when you were talking about your email exchange with Sean Penn, I thought that was really interesting. Tamara, sweet Tamara, please slap me across the face. I can't just slap you. You have to say something I find offensive. Beyonce's really 44. <gasps> oh, God, that is nothing, and I betrayed Beyonce. I feel better. <laughs> Tell me how much money the practice has brought in this quarter. And I hope it's at least three million because we have committed quite a bit to Zach Braff's newest Kickstarter. Oh my God, that's how is that possible? It's a negative number. What? You have more money going out than you have coming in. It's, it's as simple as that. How did this happen? Well, you spent most of your revenue on something called the Later Baby Launch Party. In retrospect, we shouldn't have rented out Governor's Island. Nobody came because someone wrote Riker's Island by accident on the invitation. It was me. If you don't get more patients in immediately, your practice will definitely go under. If we wanted predictions on the future, we'd go to my psychic, Lady Mysterioso. Yeah. We pay you for accounting advice. Everyone, I present to you my wedding dress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Holy God. Whoa. You know, I get paid like $1,000 for this in Japan. Wow, that looks amazing. Mm -hmm. On Tamara. OK, I'm going to be her weight and her height by my wedding. You know. Well, I think this is a pretty successful first outing of the Shulman & Associates Musical Theatre Appreciation Society. Do you think so? Do you think it was? Because I paid a fortune for two Hamilton tickets and you got us kicked out in the first act by climbing up on stage to freestyle. It is not my fault. All of the non-white people were doing it. They were the cars! You know? I'm actually here as a patient. Here's the deal. I have a lot of love to give and I'm sick of wasting it on losers. And I finally found something I like more than myself. The idea of another me. Oh, I don't do cloning? If I could, there'd be like eight Chris Pines in here, though. No, no, Dr. L. I want you to help me get pregnant. Oh, my God. You want to be a single mother by choice? <gasps> you must have been inspired by me, your same age mentor. Morning, everybody. Oh, muffin? Cool. Coffee. Classic Tamara. Hey. Someone's in a very good mood for a Monday morning. What happened this weekend? Did one of your college friends get divorced or something? Well, not too much, guys. I did that Japanese decluttering thing where you hold something and if it doesn't bring you joy, you throw it out. Got rid of all my vegetables and an electric bill. You know that being affiliated with a teaching hospital means you actually have to teach, right? <sighs> yeah, but honestly, Jean, aren't I too young to teach? I mean, look at me. I think the students would be very confused. They'd be like, she's our teacher? She should be the star of her own Disney show. I'm not gonna listen to her, she's too hot. So, I've never been set up by my postmate before, but it makes sense because I see Carlos F almost every night. Yeah, Carlos is cool. Hey man, the show is down here. Right, right. Um, so, uh, Carlos mentioned that you- Yes! I'm gonna go. If I wanted to be treated badly at a wings place, I'd go to the one by my house where I don't tip. Risha, you cannot be this little idiot that I have to take care of anymore. Cause, spoiler alert, there's gonna be a new stupid little idiot that I take care of. Yeah, we're gonna have a baby. You're gonna, in there? Oh my God, I can't believe it. It makes perfect sense, you're totally showing. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not yet, it's months too early, don't go down this path. I'm not gonna sit here and help some good-looking guy in their 30s lament their dating prospects in New York City. I'm actually about to turn 30. Okay. How dare you? How dare you be in your late 20s? Meanwhile, I'm 35 with a kid and a bad personality. I'm never gonna date again. Okay, look, I know we got off on the wrong foot, and that's a real shame. Because you and I, 
We're just two cool women trying to make our way in this female-dominated industry. What do you want from me other than what you obviously want from me? I don't know. I just want to get to know you better. You seem cool, you're new to town, and I was named New York Sick Girl by a magazine that I made at the carnival. If the government puts a lien on your earnings, it's going to affect us all. Damn it, Mindy, you can't make a mess and ignore it and just expect it to get cleaned up. It affects other people. Like the time she left my faucet on all weekend. Because the earth isn't covered with a million oceans, Danny. Wherever will we get more water? No, no. Mindy. I can't hear about this faucet thing anymore. Mindy. Manny is in charge of the lost and found, but he's on a date. It's, you know, Friday night, date night. So that's like officially a thing now? Yeah. Man, it's like there was a Taylor Swift song called Friday Night Date Night. You know what? It's already my favorite song. A year ago, that guy was literally in a gutter. I'll have you know. And now he is having my dream adorable wedding. Right? The mason jars, the cupcakes cutely arranged in tears instead of a wedding cake. That was my idea that I had in a dream. I wish I had written it down. Now I could sue them. What? Let me get this straight. You want me to host a segment on the 5 o'clock news. OK, let's slow it down. In our business, there's a measure called a Q rating. It measures audience awareness of a celebrity. Did I score a huge Q rating? You know, I wanted to be a celebrity doctor before I even wanted to be a doctor. Yeah, no, your Q rating was effectively zero. Out of 100. OK. Anyways, your Q rating was a disaster. But your P rating was off the charts. P for popularity? Pity. Sure. You scored a P rating equal to that of the dog that was saved from the roof during Hurricane Katrina. No human has ever scored sad dog numbers. With Peter having left and Mindy branching out to start her own fertility practice, we're busier than ever, which is great, but we do need to hire a new doctor immediately. You know we need? Someone modern and cool who can relate to me and everyone else in Generation Hunger Games. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say modern and cool? Oops. Hello, Dr. C. Great idea, Danny. I took Peter to my favorite lunch place and it was a disaster. Oh no, did you take him to the doll place where you tell the period story? Yeah, and he hated it. Can you believe that? No. So I would like to begin the formal paperwork for his termination. Look, you need to take an interest in something that Peter cares about. For the last time, I will not listen to Fish. Songs should be three minutes long and Nicki Minaj raps in the middle. Don't you think you should check out the delivery room? Oh, don't worry about that, Dr. Lahiri. You'll never remember it. You've opted for the five-day C-section knockout package. You have? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? You want to be high on goofy gas for the most beautiful moment of your life? OK, the most beautiful moment of my life is when I got a selfie with Gail King on that flight. Dr. L? Yeah. A Stephanie Germanata for you. She's interested in becoming a new patient. Miss Gaga, it is an honor to be speaking to you. We've actually met before. I was escorted off your stage at the NASA Coliseum. It's not Lady Gaga, it's Josh. Don't hang up. Oh, God, I'm hanging up. Can I ask you something? Sure. What was it like delivering Northwest? Well, they barely even needed me. I mean, Kim's canal is spectacular, and Kanye's tender birthing rap really just did the rest. The closest I've ever had to a celebrity patient was, do you remember Trichelle from Real World Road Rules Inferno? Oh. Her mom was a patient until she let me go. Sure. Would fit in better with our kind of trendy cosmopolitan office atmosphere? Someone like from the mind of Shonda Rhimes. Who's Shonda Rhimes? <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Who's Shonda Rhimes? Scandal. Grey's Anatomy. How to get away with murder. Private practice. Crossroads the movie. A year ago, I would have said it's impossible for you to find the money to buy the apartment upstairs. You were leasing a car you forgot about. I did not forget about that car. I abandoned it because of tickets. But you've become a very financially responsible young lady. As it turns out, it's not that hard to save. Oh, you know what else helped a lot? You started stealing toilet paper from the hospital. That saved a lot of scratch, Melville. I can't be seen buying toilet paper in the quantities that I need. It's horrifying. Wow, Gillian Flynn, I am such a fan. You should read my fan fiction for Gone Girl. In my version, Amy fakes her own kidnapping to frame Nick. That is exactly what happens in my book. You know, I think I kind of captured the characters a little bit better than you did. You gotta read it. I'll send it to you. Just give me your email. Wait, wait, what's Ben Affleck like? <laughs> Mindy, you gotta concentrate on finding a replacement for the disaster that was Dr. Phillips. And before you say it, Dr. Dre is not a real doctor. Okay. He has an MD in hip hop. That is neither here nor there. Don't listen to him. What's that, Mindy? You're not Mindy. You're a warrior, and your warrior name is Beyonce Pad Tide.